that we started working together was because you were diagnosed with EDS. Yeah, Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome type three, the hypermobility type. And that hypermobility, what was happening to you? Your joints were just dislocating? Yeah, so I got diagnosed a few years ago with Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome because my hip just dislocated as I was walking. And I, like, my joints were really just deteriorating. Everyone experiences EDS in a different way, but there's a lot of things that are similar. And uh, with the hypermobility, I my joints were really affected and like, oh, I, pull on something too hard, my wrist will dislocate. Or like, oh, I slept weird and now I woke up and my shoulder is sublexed and my shoulder blade is not right. My heart's like having palpitations. And I just was having so many problems with my joints and not just that, but like, oh, now you have arthritis in your hands and now you have fibromyalgia because you have this like chronic pain from your joints just being way out of whack. and. Um, and how did the doctor diagnose you with EDS? What did they tell you that they claimed it was EDS type three? So I had different blood work done. They thought it might be vascular EDS, but with the echocardiogram and with the blood work, they were like, no, it's not vascular, but there's a, um, there's a chart that you have to have a certain number of the like qualifying illnesses or elements to be able to be diagnosed with it. So one thing is like the whites of your eyes are a little bit bluish, um, being able to bend your thumb back to touch your arm, touching the palms of your hands to the floor, standing up straight, your knees bending backwards, just a lot of different things. So with the hypermobility, it's a lot easier to visibly see the, um, to see the this disorder it also affects like skin and organs and different tissues so like i was having lots of problems with healing quickly or getting a bruise and it just lasting forever and just pain in all my joints pretty much anytime i moved them and now with the eds do you have these involuntary joint dislocations anymore i I don't. No. Um, and it was actually like within the last couple months of treatment that my shoulder, so my shoulder for the last few years, every time I put my arm back and I pull like this, my shoulder will pop because it will like slide out of place because, you know, they are like build more stabilizing muscles. Well, it doesn't really matter how many stabilizing muscles you build if your muscle tissue isn't very good. Um, so my shoulder would just slide out of place and I'd pull on it and it would go pop and just go right it back into place. And I'd do that several times a day. And just a couple months ago, I realized I was like, I was doing it out of habit and I was like, it didn't, it didn't pop. I was like, wait a minute. And since then it just, it hasn't, it, my shoulder won't just like slide out of place and it won't, I can't pop it because it, it just stays where it up to and now. one other symptom you told me was that you were able to take your thumb and bend it right back to the forearm? Yeah, so. And now that's not happening. My thumb, if you look, if you look closely, it can go, there's so much straining in here, whereas before my thumb would go almost like, almost past my arm. And like, if you have EDS or you know someone with like hypermobility EDS, that's a, that's a big party trick of like, oh, look, I can pull my thumb off. But like now I'm like, can't happen. Who even am I? So no more joint, dis no more joint dislocations. <laughs> yeah. It stopped. It's been how many months, besides the shoulder that you could force out of joint, how many months has it been now under my care? How many months have you not had these involuntary with the foot, with the wrist, with the knee, with the hip, with all the different joints that were getting subluxated? How many months has it been without these involuntary joint dislocations? Um, I'm not sure. I can, I mean, thinking about it, like the last time that this has happened, it may have happened sooner than this, but it wasn't, at least it wasn't bad enough that I remember it, but I can remember in January, it's, well, we're in it's September, September now. now and so probably nine months ago. Nine months ago. That's a long time. After hiking for like 72 hours over like a weekend, my hip, knee and ankle were really sore and my ankle came out. Mm -hmm. But since then? I don't remember. <laughs> it's not happening. So not yeah, I don't remember a time since then that something's you, dislocated.